Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to do a binary search in C Sharp, so let's go into it. So what is a binary search? Well, a binary search is a searching algorithm that allows you to quickly search for a sorted list of data to find a, sp a specific item. So we are going to do a public static int, we're going to call it binary search, we're going to take in an integer array and an int target. So the target is going to be the value that we want to find or search for in this uh, array and int array is going to be the array we're searching in and int is going to be us returning the index of where this value is in the array. We will return a minus one if it can't be found. Firstly, we are going to do int left equals zero and int right equals array dot length minus one int left equals zero initializes a variable called left and we set it to zero and this represents the leftmost index of our search range and then what we do is we do int right equals array dot length minus one and this line initializes a variable called right and sets it to whatever the length of the array is minus one and this represents the rightmost index for our search range after that, we are then going to do while left is less than or equal to right. And this is going to be our while loop that continues until left is greater than right. In other words, it's going to continue looping as long as there are still indices left to search. Inside our while loop, we're going to firstly do int mid equals left plus right divided by two. This line calculates the middle index of the search range by taking the average of left and right and rounding down to the nearest integer. Then we have got an if statement. So we're going to do if array mid double equals target, return mid. So this if statement is going to check if the element at the middle index of the search range is equal to our target value. If it is, we found our value, return mid. Then we're going to do else if array mid is less than target. This else if statement checks if the element at the middle index of the search range is less than the target value. If it is, we do left equals mid plus one. This line updates the left variable to the index immediately to the right of the middle index, since we know the target value must be in the right half of the search range. Then we do an else statement, and this line is executed if the middle element is greater than the target value. In this case, we know that the target value must be to the left half of the search range. So we do right equals mid minus one, as this updates the right variable to the index imid immediately to the left of the middle index. Then after that while loop, we do return minus one, as this line is executed if the target value is not found in the array, it's, and we're going to return minus one to indicate that the target value was not found in the search range. With all of that, let's go to, the, to our main method. I have added some code. So we do int numbers and then we do an array of numbers so that's sorted. Then we have an int target, which is the value we want to find. Then we do int index equals binary search, numbers, which is our array, and target, which is our target. If index is not equal to minus one, we're going to print out the target and then the index it's at. Otherwise, we do value not found and console.read to keep the console open. That's it. Save and hit play. As you can see, the value 12 is at the index of 5. Remember, it's an array, so the indexes start from 0. Let's try 21. And it found 21 at the end, which is going to be an index of 10. Let's try a value that's not in there. Let's try 56. And it says value not found. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C Sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.